All right, guys, I'm gonna be real with you. A couple months ago, I drove down to the clinic in Hollywood, Los Angeles, and I had full intention of getting on TRT or testosterone replacement therapy. The reason is because for the last multiple months, probably close to a year now, I've just felt like uh, fatigued, uh, lack of strength and like regression in the gym, like totally plateau, if anything, like been losing muscle mass and strength. And those are all signs of low testosterone. So I went to the clinic to, you know, hop on some TRT and obviously they have to test your testosterone. The results came back at 991 for my total testosterone. And if you don't know what the normal range is, normal range for like a healthy male my age is 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter. So 991 is like, that's up there like pushing the envelope, like top testosterone levels. It's so confusing. It's like, if I have such high levels, why am I not like, I should look like a fucking Chad, right? Like the G Giga Chad meme or something. But um, that's not the case, obviously. I'm a little sh shrimpy dude. <laughs> so the doctors told me, you know what? You should come back in a week and test it again. They're probably just trying to make some more money, but you know, I took their advice, came back, and my testosterone results the next week were 795. 795. So in one single week, my testosterone went down 200 points or nanograms per deciliter. That's about 20% of my total testosterone going down in a week. Now, why did this happen? Did I make any changes in my lifestyle? Did I stop working out? Was I uh, staying up all night? No, I didn't do anything, nothing at all. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I kept everything exactly a buck the same. Maybe I was a little bit more stressed out. Um, maybe I wasn't having the highest quality of sleep where maybe my cortisol levels from stress were a little bit higher, causing my testosterone to decrease a little bit. But overall, like I didn't change much. And that's weird, right? That's because total testosterone is not a very reliable source to uh, benchmark your physiology. You, It's so volatile. Just from that, you can see it changes 200 in a week. So I went back about three weeks later. Actually, sorry, I didn't go back. I, I got the like, let's get checked test kit. They were, it was a brand deal. So. so I tested it again about three weeks after that, and it was back up to 873 nanograms per deciliter. So we made about, you know, 45% come back up to the 991. So why is it so volatile? Why is it so inconsistent? The thing is your body adapts to exactly what it thinks it needs for you. If you're sitting around chilling on the couch all day, your body will build up fat stores because its aim is to provide you comfort because you're not walking around. You don't need to be slim and slender. You're sitting on a couch doing nothing. So it's giving you insulation. Just like fitness is literally forcing your body to adapt to stress. So if you're climbing fucking trees all day, then you're going to develops a big ass strong forearms and fingers, right? So it's all adaptation to your situation. But that doesn't solve my issue. Why am I feeling all the symptoms of low testosterone, but yet my testosterone is extremely high? Well, that's because there's two sides to that coin. The other side, flip it over. The total testosterone is this side. The other side is free testosterone. And people forget about this side. Free testosterone is pretty much just as important as total testosterone, yet so many people just completely forget about it. Free testosterone is the testosterone in your blood that is bioavailable, meaning it is free because it is unattached to any protein. Most testosterone is attached to one of two proteins, albumin and the sex hormone globulin. While overall testosterone is important, free test is also extremely important because it's the testosterone ready for you to use at any time. If that's low, then of course, yeah, you're gonna feel like shit and you're gonna have no energy. It's gonna be just like having a 200 or 150 nanogram per deciliter total testosterone. The functions of free testosterone include enhancing sleep quality and duration, improving sexual functioning, increasing energy and endurance, and raising red blood cell production. Also supporting bone and muscle strength. So when I got my free testosterone checked the second week, it came back at 14.28, which actually is a little bit low for my age. Normal range is between 10 and 25. So 14, that's like just under the median. So that could be, you know, a reason that I was feeling all these symptoms and not having much energy and whatnot. So although my total testosterone was very high, albeit very uh, inconsistent up and down, you know, it is important to live a consistent lifestyle as much as you can because, you know, that's going to play a big role in how much testosterone you have bioavailable to you, you know? So if you're eating like shit like I do, then... <laughs> So my plan moving forward to increase my free testosterone is to hop on anabolic steroids. Kidding. 
That was a joke, guys. I'm not going to do that. But my plan really is to clean up my diet. It's important to eat clean, whole foods, meats, red meats, actually with high cholesterol, <laughs> high, have been shown to increase your free testosterone, and also get back to lifting heavy weights. Lately, I've been doing more, um, I guess, high intensity and uh, lighter weights along with cardio. I think it's important. Studies show that lifting heavy weights, heavy weight resistance actually has a high impact on your testosterone levels. So I'm going to do more of that. So I'm going to make sure my sleeping schedule is on point and also I'm probably going to start taking ashwagandha again. Ashwagandha is a not natural supplement that is shown to improve uh, testosterone, so I'm going to hop on that shit too. But also, maybe I just need to fucking lift harder and change it up in the gym, do different things. I've been lifting for damn near 10 years now and, you know, I definitely have gotten stagnant in the gym, just kind of doing the same shit, not holding myself really accountable and going as hard as I know I could. Uh, I can't even remember like the last time I maxed out a lift. So I'm excited to get back in the gym and fucking pound the rock and uh, see if I can put some damn muscle on. I haven't been this small since I was like 16 years old. So uh, yeah, that's my plan moving forward. Let me know if you guys have had similar experiences to this. It's so weird how it can fluctuate so much. 900 to nine, nearly a thousand down to 800. That's crazy to me. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any advice for me, I'm also happy to hear that because since I, I am a teacher, I am also still a student. So I'm happy to hear from you guys down below. Let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn notifications on and until next time, peace.